hello viewers welcome to heritage tutorial again uh, you've been enjoying this tutorial so we implore you to click the button below subscribe and like the video thank you as you do so so today we'll be moving to mapping last video we did the previous video we did functions so without watching the functions video you can actually get what we are doing in mapping so watch the previous video as we proceed so mapping mapping is putting a function into another function that's when you start seeing uh, 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 things like f o h stuff like that so mapping is putting another function into a function for example before we go to examples of putting a function into a function we have different types of mapping we have one-to-one -one mapping we have onto mapping like that there is representation for mapping at this side is the domain you can have domains to be a b and c then at this other side are the code domains one two Now, there are arrows like this where a domain is linked to another domain, then like this. This is just for example. This is an arrow diagram. The entirety is an arrow diagram. These are the domain on this side, then these are the codomains. The domains are also called the pre images, and the codomains are called the images. I hope you get that. So that's just the basics of mapping. So now moving to example, let's say we are given a, ma a, a function, given function fx to be equals to 2x minus 3, then another function gx to be equals to x squared plus 5x. Oh, for a start, let's just take x squared plus 5. Mm -hmm. So the first question is find foh, then the second one is find goh. Now, this f, foh means f of h. I'm sorry, f of g rather, sorry. f of g, then g of f. That means we are asked to put g, function g inside function f then this place you have to put function f inside function g remember in the functions uh, video we said that when we replace a letter or a number with this x you have to replace wherever you find that x that number with it so for this place we have f o g this f o g f o g means is the same thing as saying f into bracket of g but g is not just a letter g is also a function that means we are putting the function g in place of x in function f so for the first question f of g is equals to 2 into bracket of we are replacing function we are replacing x with the whole of function g so this says x squared plus 5 then minus 3 that's all. So that's 2x squared plus 10 minus 3, which is equal to 2x squared plus 7. That's for the first question. Then for the second question, GOF means you replace function f or you replace x with function f in G. So this one is also the same thing as saying G of f. Which is the same thing as this one is carrying square. So you open the bracket 2x, 2x minus 3, all squared, that's the x, then plus 5. So you expand this, then plus 5. Expansion of this one, the normal expansion 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, then plus 5. 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. 4x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 9 plus 5. 
So that's 4x squared minus 12x plus 14. So that's just how to map. That's mapping. Putting another function into a function. Then, so after solving the example of two functions, we we'll add another functions to the function to this of hx. Let's take 5x cubed minus 2x. That's another function. So the first question asks us to find f o h o g. So we are taking f o h o g. Now it starts from the right hand side. You put g into h, then you put the whole function into f. Now starting from g, g is x squared plus 5. Put it into h. Our function h is what? 5 into x cubed. Our x cubed is x squared plus 5 raised power 3 minus 2 into you replace with the same thing x squared plus 5 so that's this function then you put this whole thing into function f so that's 2 into bracket of this whole thing 5 into x squared plus 5 raised power 3 minus 2 into x squared plus 5 then this big bracket close minus 3 so at your own leisure you can solve this expand it whether using binomial expansion or normal expansion then you get your final answer that's all for 3 uh, mapping thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe